Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My hair is looking a little bit crazy today because I've kind of just thrown it up in one of these clips, but my hair's way too long. So it just looks like I've got a short little ponytail going on. So let's just ignore that. Um, today's video is probably gonna be quite a long, like chatty one. If you do wanna just click through and see what clothes I got, I'm gonna link everything down below in case you are just kind of interested in that. But if you wanna sit back, grab yourself a glass of something, whether it's a cup of tea, glass of wine, whatever you fancy. I've got mine over there. You can probably see what that is. Um, I just wanted to, yeah, stick the camera on and chat to you guys a load about the clothes that I picked up. As you can tell from the title, it is gonna be another Shein haul. I did one of these quite recently, I won't lie, but everything was so nice. Like I was literally blown away by the quality of everything, the fit of it, I just loved everything that I got last time around. And you guys seem to really love the video as well, so I thought I'd bring another one back. This time I've kind of gone for like, I wanna say like summer staples. We've got some dresses, we've got some more swimwear. I actually picked up some shoes, which I never usually do because I've bought a pair in the past and they've just like look nothing like the website image they've just been horrendous so i'm hoping we're lucky this time around um but there is a lot to get through so i'm gonna stop rambling this intro is probably crazy long already let's get into the first item just really quickly for size and reference because i know she and sizes can be a little bit all over the place i've tried to kind of like pick out what i think is gonna be best but if you are wanting to kind of judge it off my size then i'm around five foot six in height and i'm typically between a size 10 and 12 in uk clothing so i hope that helps but these are the first two items which i'm kind of shocked at because this is the first time that i've tried shein jeans before so i'm going to go on to those next i'm going to start off with the top um and yeah we'll move on to the jeans i am very impressed little spoiler there but this top i absolutely love i've been trying out these tops for ages now because i genuinely think they are so beautiful i think they are insanely flattering on like any chest size any size in general like, i just think they are such beautiful tops to wear the only problem is i don't have i wouldn't say i've got the biggest boobs in the world but they're definitely not i wouldn't say i'm like a smaller chest so i really struggle with these because most of the time i'll do like one small movement like lift my arms up and everything's to the wind like i could not wear one of these in public and be comfortable but i think because you can tie this one yourself i'm kind of not mad like i don't feel I don't know like on edge i kind of feel like i'm a little bit secure i mean i would still probably tape it here maybe but it feels very comfortable like i said i don't feel like i'm gonna fall out or anything so i'm really happy with this i know for a fact they had so many of these on the website which i'm not gonna lie you're probably gonna see because i did pick up quite a few in this haul um just because i feel like i found a load of patterns that i liked but yeah they have so many different colors so many different patterns anything you can think of they will have it in this top but i really love that you can tie this one like i say i have just kind of tied it at the neck in the most horrendous bra you've ever seen so i won't go too close on that but yeah really happy with this so if you are kind of struggling with these tops a little bit as well then give this a go you might be surprised and then the jeans i've just realized i'm standing the wrong side for where i want to put my try on clip so when i was swapping over to here but these are from shein like i am shocked i actually didn't know they did jeans which i think is maybe a little bit silly because they do literally everything on their website but yeah i've never tried them out before so i saw these ones which i kind of i do love them but i don't think they're very summery like spring summery i love to go for like a lighter denim over spring summer whereas these are very much like a darker denim and then also a bit acid wash kind of which i do personally love but like i say just more for when it's a little bit colder um but the fit and everything is lovely like it's super high-waisted feels very comfortable it's not too tight anywhere i think i've got a large in these the sizing will be on screen so you guys can check that but i think i did go for a large and like i say i am a 10 to 12 and i think there was potentially only one size above a large so you guys did actually mention in the last video because i think i kept talking about how i didn't feel like Shein was very size inclusive the general website is not very like honestly i don't feel like it is at all but you guys actually told me that there is a whole plus size section which i didn't know about at all so that might be useful because i know there's a lot of things that i personally get in a large and i literally can't fit my left leg into so that would be really helpful for me as well um just to kind of get some sizes that are a little bit bigger and a bit more comfortable to wear i guess so yeah bear that in mind in case you didn't know as well but anyway back to the jeans you would have seen in the charm clip that they have little details on them just some little rips on the knees and then like on the thigh which i think is really cute as well pretty cute probably will still wear them over spring summer to be honest um but definitely a staple pair for autumn winter as well right let's just get these kind of like cold to neck tops out the way first i'm really sorry about the lighting it's a few golden hour right now which i love but 
for filming it's not that great that's really annoying isn't it <laughs> okay i'm gonna stand back here and hope you can see it a bit better this i am freaking obsessed with i feel like it gives off the same kind of vibe like with the halter neck detail up here but it just feels a lot more sturdy mainly because it does have underwiring in it so it has like little wired kind of cups i guess under here and then obviously this detailing in the middle still kind of offers support as well and it just has a little bit more coverage going on obviously the waistband around here is like elasticated so again that feels really comfortable but just add support i'm obsessed with this love the color as you guys can probably guess it is like a gorgeous kind of chocolate brown goes really nicely with the jeans do you think i'd prefer it with a light wash of denim but i am going to keep these on for now just to kind of rush through all the tops and show you all of them and then we can move on to like the dresses and stuff but yeah really love this perfect for like a night out for drinks or something a little bit kind of there's a little bit something going on but it's not too much like i still feel very comfortable and i definitely feel super confident wearing this which is obviously perfect i never really know with these tops how to style my necklaces because i kind of want to have them out but then i feel like i don't know i feel like that looks kind of strange i feel like you can't always wear necklaces with these does that look better maybe like a choker would look really cute i don't know but i love this definitely gonna get so much wear out of it the quality as well by the way i feel like i don't want to repeat this for every item so if i don't mention anything about the quality best believe it's incredible this is like double lined and everything it feels amazing um but if i do mention something about the quality then we'll talk about when it gets bad because otherwise i'm literally gonna say it for every item i popped this one on because i thought it was going to be the same kind of detailing but i very quickly realized there was not enough material here to go around my neck um and then i remembered that this is literally just like a cute little bandeau top that you can tie up in the front i mainly got this for like beach days hopefully when that becomes a thing on holiday um just something to really easily throw on like over a bikini or with some denim shorts or something definitely doesn't offer any support whatsoever obviously you can tie it as tight as you want but this is like a very silky material it feels really nice again the quality is there but the only thing i would say is the first black top that i tried on it's all elasticated and i think that where it is elasticated it just hugs you a lot better um and then slinky things like this or things that are made up like a silky material they do i don't know they do just feel a little bit less holding you in type vibes i don't know really not explain that very well but i just felt a lot more comfortable in the black one i just think it's so perfect for summer again with like a lighter wash denim or some white trousers this could look pretty nice with you can obviously dress it up or keep it super casual um it's just a really good staple to have this one i feel like is exactly what i mentioned when i tried the black one on it's just made out of that slinky silky material there it goes um it just slips everywhere like honestly one wrong movement and are we all out i have seen so many girls wear this exact top who have the most insane like huge boobs like just gonna keep it real they have massive boobs and they look incredible in it but i just look at them now and i think how like how do you wear this and not slip out like i really don't understand unless it literally is just boob tape and i could tape it here i'm sure it'd be absolutely fine but yeah i wouldn't feel comfortable in this which is weird because i would feel comfortable in the black one i do think the material makes such a difference like where this is it feels really nice like obviously it's that soft slinky material but it doesn't do any favors for keeping things on your chest which is kind of important with these tops so yeah i'd probably take myself in and i'd be absolutely fine because how beautiful is it like i'm obsessed with the colors of this i think it's so so nice like the combination of pinks and kind of burgundy colors with the white i think it's literally adorable again this would look amazing with white trousers or it also looks great with the jeans as well and like i say i have seen so many girls wear this and i'm going to take some outfit inspiration from them because i literally love it just need to figure out how to secure it in place for the entire night <laughs> Then we have this. I have no idea if I've tied this correctly. I really don't think I have because, I don't know, it just looks a bit off. I mean, it's looking a bit off as well because I've definitely tied it too tight. And it's um, squishing me in places I don't want to be squished. So let's just ignore that. Feels surprisingly supportive. And I think it's literally because you can tie it as tight as you want. You basically take this. It comes as like one long bit of material with a bit of string attached. Um, so you tie it around your waist. And then you have two like long strips that you can put over. You can probably like cross it in the front if you did want to. Maybe I'll try that actually. Because I think, I think that was maybe how it's meant to go. I don't know. Let's try it and I'll come back to you. This is not how it was meant to go at all no <laughs> right so instead of crossing it in at the front i've just left it crossed in the back so i've kind of taken the two straps up crossed it over and then tied it again and none of this stuff by the way has been itchy or anything like it's all very soft materials which just makes such a change from when i used to shop on shein like years ago 
it was just not the best place and now I feel like they've really upped their game, which I'm happy about. So a little bit more about Squarespace in case you guys haven't heard of them before. They're basically a website building platform and everything is there for you. I say this every time, but it's just so simple, quick and easy to use. If you are thinking of setting up something like an online shop, I know a lot of people have been starting businesses in lockdown. So I thought it'd be great to kind of tell you a little bit about how that can work. So you can basically pick a pre-made template or you can totally create your own website website from scratch but in terms of creating an online shop with Squarespace I just think it's so great because it has so many different tools like the analytics tool so you can look over all your revenue and also like your traffic sources where everyone's kind of coming to your shop from which I think is so useful when you are running a business and you can also obviously design everything yourself as well and you can also create some marketing leads like Instagram stories and yeah just run everything from Squarespace as a platform. If you do want to check it out or if you want to purchase your first domain name, you can actually get some money off by using my code, which is just Emily Philpot. I'm going to leave the website link down below if you want to go and have a look. So we have this little white tee. These are like such a staple over spring summer. I always get my basics like this from Zara or Primark even, just white little racer tops that you can throw on all the time, like with shirts over the top, whatever you want. I thought this one was really cute because it has some text across the front here that says angel energy. I thought that was so cute. And I also love the little pop of blue that it gives. I do really like this, quality feels amazing. Generally feels like I could have got this from Zara, for example. So I'm impressed with that. The only thing I would say is it is, obviously it's a crop top, but it is really quite cropped. I wouldn't say it's got too much stretch to it. It does mean that it has like quite a big gap at the bottom here, so. Again, not sure how confident I'd feel in this one. Um, I definitely could have upped a size maybe. I can't remember what size I did get this in, but I definitely do need a tiny little bit more room. So again, bear that in mind when you're choosing your sizing. But everything else about it is really nice. And if you are a little bit smaller chested, this will fit you so, so nicely. Like I say, the quality is amazing. So I can't fault it in any other way. Okay, I got this little one, which I think is really cute, but I'm just not sure on. I think it's just not really sitting right on me. Love the colour so much. I'm obsessed with this kind of like powder blue, I want to say, like baby blue. I think it's so beautiful, especially for spring summer. I feel like colour is going to be such a big thing this spring summer. And if you guys are regular here, you know that that is just not me whatsoever. But I really am trying to like put a load more colour into my wardrobe. So I hope you're enjoying the hauls and kind of seeing like, I guess, a different variation of my kind of style. I'm trying to switch it up a bit. And I am actually really enjoying it. Love a bit of blue at the moment, literally any shade of it. But I do feel like this is one of my favourites. But I do love these kind of detail tops at the moment. I also like the fact you can kind of adjust it. So you can loosen it a bit if you wanted to. You can tie it tighter. You really have the option to make this fit you perfectly. Obviously, if you do go for the right size, like make sure you're getting the rest of it to kind of fit you properly. But I have a feeling that I probably went for a large thinking that it would come up a little bit smaller. So definitely stick true to size in this. I probably could have got away with a medium, but this is what it looks like from the back. It's just like a gorgeous ribbed material as well. So it feels, again, really nice on. It also has the seam detailing, which I love. Just wish this fit a little bit better as all. Well. Okay, on to a couple of really cute little tops that I picked up. I love this. I think it's so, so adorable. Kind of making me look a little bit funny. It is very restrictive in here, I'm not gonna lie. It does have an elasticated back to it, which thank God it does because otherwise I wouldn't have got this on like at all. But I do feel like, as you can see from the side, it's really doing nothing for me. Like it's just flattening everything down. But to give it a little bit more shape, it does have these little tie details in the front. So you can kind of pull this and then I think I have to tie it for it to stay in place. But it just makes the entire top a completely different shape, which I personally love because I love that, again, you have the option to do kind of what you want with it. But how much better is that? I think it's so much more flattering like this. I personally love anything with a cutout detail here. I think it's so flattering to your stomach area. And I also love a little sweetheart neckline. It's also kind of brought everything back together and that makes it a lot more flattering as well. So really happy with this. Not see-through at all from what I can kind of see. It doesn't look see-through in the mirror, so if you can see anything, it's because the massive ring light in front of me. Always bear that in mind. But it feels really nice on again. It's not itchy at all. These are elasticated, but they're not too tight or anything. Love a little cap sleeve as well. Definitely one to pair with jeans. This is probably how I would style it. Or again, with like little shorts or something. Such a summer staple. Like I always reach for these little white tops when it gets a little bit warmer. Next, I picked up this really cute 
little blouse this kind of gave me house of cb kind of vibes and if you watch the last haul you'll know that i realized in that video that she and actually have loads of their kind of dupes which if you know anything about house of cb they are crazy expensive i personally love them i think they are so worth the money but if you do want the same kind of like style or the same kind of vibe but just a lot less then Shein is a great shout so yeah this wasn't a direct copy of any like particular product but I did think that with the little ditzy floral print and the kind of voluminous sleeves just gave me those kind of vibes this again feels really nice on it's not double lined or anything I'm not like blown away with the quality of this one but it still feels really soft it has little kind of elasticated sleeves here again not too tight at all love this little ruffle hem I think this neckline is again super flattering yeah just another little summer basic again if it gets a bit warmer this is a really nice material to kind of just throw on it does just do up with a zip in the back here this actually fits really nicely so check the sizing on screen again because i think i stuck through to size and it fits really well okay this is kind of cute i'm just not sure how much this kind of shape is doing for me personally i don't think it's the most flattering love the neckline again it's that square kind of neckline with the puffed little sleeves love that it's another little white blouse just another kind of option to go for again it's not see-through this bit is double lined but the rest of it isn't but i kind of like the fact that the main part that needs to be is and then the rest kind of doesn't have to be again it has the same like elasticated detail in the back which is very useful for getting this one on as well also it has this same kind of cinch detail which i have just pulled them both up but it does mean that you have the option to make this a lot longer and much less of a crop which i quite like because i know a lot of people would love to have that kind of option i don't know maybe it's the sleeves like they are quite an odd length i don't really know where to wear these i suppose you could wear them down that does look quite nice but then you can pull them off if you wanted to so again i guess you have options definitely really impressed with a lot of the tops that i've picked up although this kind of is the last one so i'm going to move on to the dresses and i think i've also got a couple of play suits as well i'm going to start off with this one because it's very similar to the two little blouses that i just showed you just pretty much in dress form it is a little bit see-through i won't lie this isn't the best quality dress i definitely use it as more of maybe like a pool cover-up or like a beach dress i think that would be really cute but if you did want to wear it out you could just pair like some nude underwear with it and you'll be absolutely fine it's not like the worst quality ever but it just is a little bit more on the thinner side but the dress itself is so cute so not me you guys are probably looking at this thinking what has happened to wardrobe like honestly like i said before i really am trying to change it up and i do love what these kind of pieces look like on other people and i'm kind of in that mindset where i'm like just try it because you just never know and if you like something on someone else and you sit there and think oh, i can possibly pull that off you can like we can all wear whatever we want to wear and if you think something's cute try it out buy it for yourself treat yourself if you don't like it you can always return it but i think a lot of you will be pleasantly surprised because i certainly am when i try these things out but i really love this i think it's such a cute little dress if you guys follow me on instagram you'll know that I have a slight issue with bloating so i love finding dresses like this that are super flattering and just really comfortable to wear mainly and this is definitely going to be a staple for the summer also please don't mind the fact that all of these dresses need a steam like they are not in the best condition obviously i've just taken them straight out of the packet so please don't mind that okay haven't done this one up properly because we're not going to talk about it for too long i don't think this flatters me in any way shape or form but this is way too big for me i think if i maybe size down in it because i think i went true to size in all the dresses but if you are on the lookout for something like this then size down i do love it i think it is such a beautiful piece i had a dress like this i think from was it princess polly or like oh molly or something like that one of the australian boutiques um which are amazing like all of the quality of that stuff is literally to die for i think it's stunning and it was this exact same style like literally did up in the back exactly the same as well and i'm not saying the quality is there with this one because the quality of those pieces are like so so nice they are so worth the money but this is kind of up there like i'm not hating it it does feel really nice on again the kind of netted mesh type material isn't itchy at all but yeah definitely just a sizing issue with this one so not the most flattering so i am gonna just move on to the next one but like i say if you are on the lookout for a little dress like this size down i feel like it's going to be a little bit of kind of an acquired taste i think you either love these dresses or kind of hate them because i do agree they're not like the most flattering things they don't give you the most amount of shape ever but i do love the fact that it has an elasticated waist to it so you do still kind of go in a little bit and it does flatter you very nicely but again they're just comfortable to wear especially for the bloat if you do want to go out and eat like a big meal this will be so good to go for i'm loving this material it sort of feels like i think it's like a cheesecloth or a muslin material it feels super soft 
um, and I think it's also really flattering because it's a little bit heavier so it just kind of hangs down really nicely. I feel like this lighting is seriously washing me out. I probably could have got away with sizing down in this one as well just because the top half and everything is all really elasticated so it still fit me up there but yeah absolutely love this kind of detail. Even this as like a blouse again to pair with the jeans would be so so nice. And then this is the final clothing item before we move on to the bikinis. Again I feel like I'm being completely washed out by my lighting. I definitely need a little bit of a tan with these things. So these are definitely going to be perfect pieces to take on holiday manifesting that situation happening. Anyway this is kind of giving me like white fox vibes. Again it's an Australian boutique. I just feel like honestly Australian boutiques do the best clothes like especially for summer. Yeah this is definitely giving me those vibes just with the neckline again but it's really comfortable it's super flowy like the shorts aren't too short or anything so i'm not conscious of that top feels really nice this does have adjustable straps which i appreciate because i didn't realize i was going to need it until now i do love when things have adjustable straps because obviously we're not all the same kind of size on top and it just makes it so much easier first swimwear item absolutely love this i said i think previously in this haul that color is going to be a massive thing this spring summer this is like the perfect little bikini for that. I've honestly seen this on the website so many times and I always mean to pick it up and I just never do for some reason. But this time I literally couldn't resist. Like I am freaking obsessed. I just love how bright the colours are, like how many there are. Love the design of it as well. Obviously it's this little tie up detail bando top, which to be fair, I haven't tied any ties where I literally just got it out of the packet and put it on and it fits fine. But I think you can tie this as tight as you want or as loose as you want, which is good. Love the bottoms of these. They are super high waisted, which I really like, but they're not they're not like an unflattering high-waisted. I think because you can still pull these bits up your hips, I honestly, if you don't wear your bikini bottoms like this, it is so flattering. It does wonders for your figure. They are still super flattering. So really love these. On the back, they are a little bit cheeky, but not too much. So yeah, this is literally perfect for me. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is going to be my staple summer bikini because I feel really good in it, actually. This is actually the only other swimwear piece that I got. I thought I got way more than this, but... Apparently not. Really not too sure on this one. I always get my swimwear, like all of my one pieces, my bikinis. I always get them in a large from Shein just because I've always found that they run small to be honest. But again, I think that's probably something that they're like sorting out because this feels quite big. It fits in some areas, but like up here, it's kind of not fitting me that tightly. And then here there's a little bit of excess material. So I think again, I could have gone down a size in this, but I am kind of gutted about this one because I do love the concept. Just got it wrong with the sizing again. Okay, that is it for the clothes. You can probably tell by the lighting. It is now pitch black outside. I've honestly been filming this for like two hours, I want to say. There was a lot of clothes in here. But just really quickly before I round it off, like I said at the start, I did get a couple of pairs of shoes. This is the first pair that I went for. I bought these mainly for like little drinks out with your girls. I just think these little kitten heels are such a good option, especially if you do want to get a little bit more dressed up, but you don't want to be uncomfortable. I hate nothing more than uncomfortable shoes like I don't like being uncomfortable when I go out so I've been really loving these I've actually stocked up on quite a few pairs now ready for when we can go out but these I just thought were such a sweet little design these actually feel really nice I think I got these yeah I got these in a six which is my usual size and they don't look overly small overly big and then this is the other pair I got which are very similar I just kind of went for a little bit of a different style and a different color not gonna lie these look kind of small again I got them in a six but I don't know they look really small but this is just another design that i really like i love the kind of ruching over the top here faux leather feels really soft on these i believe they are all faux leather i'm assuming they are because they're obviously not that expensive i have another pair of these in like a pale pink and i've worn them so much so i thought i'd go for a little kind of nude kind of tan color i would say and then finally to round off this haul i did just pick up a couple of accessories so first i got some sunglasses which first of all come with their own case like that's kind of insane considering the price of these it's also a really nice case so i'm definitely going to use that but these are the sunnies that i got they're just kind of crazy oversized but i just love this shape okay they are really quite big aren't they i mean i look insane because the ring light reflection but i don't know i do kind of love an oversized sunglass obviously sunglasses is something that they have so many different styles on like i'm sure you can find something that you like on there but they are crazy and expensive and again initially they look really good they feel like really nice quality so then finally i got just a couple of pairs of earrings which i've just seen now that these ones don't have like a back to them so i literally just went for like two different hoop styles but i got these ones which are again super chunky super oversized i just really loved how they looked like this kind of three little ring effect but yeah i don't know if you can see they don't have any backs to them luckily i've got a load of spares but 
that's kind of random and then i just got these really mini little hoops i actually thought these were going to be a little bit bigger i won't lie but i kind of love having the variation because i always wear these so yeah i thought i'd pick up a couple more pairs for the summer but that really is everything that i picked up for today's shein haul i feel like i'm probably going to do another one of these i won't lie i've just been so impressed by all of their stuff recently so if there is anything specific that you guys maybe have been looking at and you want me to test out before you buy it then please let me know maybe link a couple items down below or if there's like a particular section you want me to try out then we can definitely do that in some upcoming videos but I really hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you are here until the end, please do hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it all the way through. Definitely hit subscribe if you want to stick around for more videos in the future. And I'll also leave my Instagram on screen if you want to go and follow me over there. Thank you so much for all the love on YouTube at the moment. I really am feeling it. Um, I've just been loving doing these hauls and kind of showing you guys what I'm updating my wardrobe with, especially with summer approaching and obviously lockdown restrictions lifting as well. It's going to be a good time. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll speak to you all very soon in my next one. Bye guys.